Okay, everyone, it looks like we have our official casting announcement for Lord of the Rings from Amazon. We have the complete main cast, at least, for this show. I gotta admit, some of it makes me interested to see where they're gonna go with it. Some of it raises a little bit of red, red flags, but it it's still kind of hard to tell exactly where they're going to be going with this show. It really just depends on where they go with it what the context is how do are they going to stay in the boundaries of the world that tolkien created or are they going to try to push their way into doing what they want to do and use the name of tolkien's middle earth for their own political narrative now it's really hard to tell at this point still but we're going to take a look at the cast i'm going to show you uh, the main members of the cast and then you guys can also let me know in the comments below what you think The only thing that keeps me a little bit optimistic about this is that Tom Shippey and the Tolkien estate are involved With this show the Tolkien estate is very very picky when it comes to what they allow or don't allow when it comes to adaptations of the works of Tolkien so we just we'll just have to wait and see it's still hard to tell um but as we go along i'll still kind of uh keep you guys uh updated with what i think so here we go we have our first cast of um character or sorry actors for this show so let's go ahead and start with robert arameo who i believe is going to be one of the leads in the show so there we go this is the guy that uh, that replaced will poulter for his uh, character um, the, the, the thing is about this is that they don't tell us who they're going to be playing. They don't tell us the, the name of the characters that they're going to be playing. And that really drives me crazy because I think that would really help out a lot with us figuring out what they're going to be doing with the show. Um, but the, by the other hand, if they're going to be playing characters that were from the second age, then that would obviously kind of give us a little bit, maybe too much details that, than, than what Amazon wants to. So it's kind of hard to tell, but here we go. We got Robert Arameo here. Um, he was great in Game of Thrones and uh, I think he's going to do just fine in, um, you know, in, in this show. I, I, I think as far as acting goes, I think he does a good job. So, and then we have Owain Arthur who is this fellow right here. He looks like a pretty stocky, blokey dude, and that's pretty cool. I think that he could play a pretty pretty awesome character, maybe like a warrior or something. Um, you know, it's, 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 I guess we'll just have to wait and see as far as that goes. But then we have Nazanin bon Boniati, and I'm probably going to butcher some of these names, so I'm really sorry about that. But here we go. So um, this is kind of one of the first cast members that makes me a little bit, wondering it makes me wonder just a little bit where they're gonna be going because obviously she has darker complexion she has darker skin and all that type of stuff who is she gonna be playing is she gonna be playing someone from like the from um harad or something like that is she gonna be playing more of an easterling type of character in this show or what or is she maybe gonna play more of like a new minorian type it's hard to tell obviously but those are kind of the things i i don't care if there's diversity in the show okay i don't care but it has to be in the context of the world that tolkien created that's the only thing that i care about i don't want to see you know black elves running around because that just does not work that isn't the world that tolkien created and they have to stick to the world that tolkien created okay that's the only thing that i want okay but it's but like i said it's hard to tell what they're going to be doing because they they haven't told us who they're going to be playing yet and that's kind of annoying to be honest but they probably did that on purpose so well obviously they did it on purpose so tom budge is this fellow right here he definitely looks like he is ready to do something really creepy <laughs> i don't know but uh this is probably a little bit of a better picture of him but he he just i don't know he has kind of a creepy look to him almost and i don't understand is that this guy too oh wow okay well he kind of cleaned up pretty nice there <laughs> um okay but you know maybe it's just the mustache because mustaches are always creepy but <laughs> anyway so you know um we'll have to wait and see see where where they go with that um morfid clark who we are speculating is going to be playing Galadriel for the show. So there we go. I just saw her in the new Dracula show as actually um Dracula show that's on Netflix right now. And uh she did good. She wasn't in it a whole lot, but she was she was good in the show and I think that she will be a, a good Galadriel. I don't understand why they don't bring back uh you know, why they aren't bringing back um Kate Blanchett, but 
it is what it is. Um, so, and then we have Ismail uh, Cruz Cordova. Let me see if I can find her or his, sorry, <laughs> his picture. So here we go. Now, again, this is another one of those things that's like, okay, if he's going to be playing like an Easterling type of character or a character from Harad, something like that, that's fine. I'm totally fine with that. But if he's going to be playing like, you know, an elf or, you know, just some random dude, human character from the Middle Earth area, it's just not going to work out. It's just not going to work. So if they can actually keep it in the right context, then I'm fine with it. It's hard to tell, but here we go. Um, I haven't, I can't think of anything that I've seen him in. So I don't know if he's a good actor or not, but I, I... I just I just don't know so um, and then we have Emma Horvath here who we have known for a while is going to be in the show uh, she looks like she can be kind of crazy a little bit <laughs> but uh but you know I guess we'll have to wait and see who she plays but I think that she has a pretty pretty good look going for her um, and then we have Markella Kavanaugh who we know is going to be playing um, a human character I believe so she's actually like the first character or person that they announced that was going to be in the show. Um, I, I, I think she looks good. I think she looks just fine for the role. Uh, I think that she definitely could be playing maybe like uh, a human. I think she is actually confirmed to be playing a hu human character, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, that would work, work good. She has the look. She has the blonde hair. She has the blue eyes. So I think she will be just fine for that. Um, and then we have Joseph Male, who people are speculating is going to be playing Sauron for the show. I think that would be perfect. He played, uh, um, oh, what's his name? Uh, I don't remember the, the, uh, the uncle's name in, uh, Game of Thrones, but he played the uncle in Game of Thrones. Um, he's, he, if he was going to be Sauron, he would be absolutely fantastic in the role, I think. He, he has that look about him. He, he definitely has, like, the really long face that you kind of picture with Sauron. Um, I don't know. He definitely, I think, could really just do a bang-up job playing uh, the Dark Lord. And I think that's where they're going to be going. I think that if they wanted to, they could really make him look super fair and elvish and stuff as well. So I think that he would do great in the role. Uh, so that's kind of the speculation that's going around right now. And I, I, I definitely agree with that speculation. I think that he will be playing Sauron. Um, let's see here. Uh, who do we, who do we have next? Uh, Tyro Muhafidin, uh, who is this going to be this kid, I guess that's going to be in the show. Um, like I said, they don't tell us who any of these people are in, in the show. So it's hard to kind of say who they're going to be, but I guess we're going to have a, uh, a kid running around. I, I, I don't know. And then we have, uh, Sophia Namvete. Again, like I said about the other two uh, actors on this list, it's kind of the same deal. It's kind of the same deal. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, if they're going to announce that she's going to be like an elf or something, I'm going to be like, okay, well, I guess we already know what kind of a show this is going to be. But having Tim Shippey involved, or uh, yeah, Tom Shippey involved, and is it Tim Shippey or Tom Shippey? Tom Shippey involved. And then uh, having the Tolkien estate involved, I think all of that is definitely going to be helpful. I hope so, at least. And then uh, the last one that I have pulled up here is Daniel Wayman. So he kind of has a Faramir look almost to him, which uh, is just coincidence, obviously. But he kind of looks a little bit like Faramir here. So maybe he'll play some sort of, uh, I don't know, um, Numenorian type of character or something like that. But anyway, so there is the cast for Lord of the Rings from Amazon. Some red flags. I definitely have some red flags, but we, I, I was, I really was hoping that they were going to tell us who these people were going to be playing, and that would really help establish what kind of direction they're going to be going in with this show. But so far, they haven't told us who these people are going to be playing. They have not announced it yet, and we just don't know at this time being. But I will absolutely keep you guys updated on it. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the cast. Do you think that they are the right fit? I mean. I, I have a feeling that they're going to try to go woke with it, if I'm going to be completely honest. I really, really do. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to just throw that around meaningly, meaningly, meaninglessly unless they, unless we actually get some sort of announcement from Lord of the Rings, from Amazon themselves. And at this time, we just don't have much information. So I'm going to be a little bit cautious about it. But as far as what I personally think, 
I could see them trying to go woke with it. But on the other hand, we have like Shippy and the Tolkien estate involved as well. Hopefully they can kind of help keep things balanced. I don't know. It's it's just it's very, very tough to tell at this point. But what do you think? What are your speculations as, that they're gonna be going? If they're gonna I mean, if 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 uh if we're gonna be honest, they they definitely probably want to go woke with it, but you know, with uh some of the success success of things like The Witcher and stuff, maybe they'll kind of uh maybe that'll kinda of help make them and even just Game of Thrones in general and stuff, because Game of Thrones is like not woke like at all at least in the first few seasons and uh maybe that will kind of help them realize that they don't need to they don't need to go woke all they need to do is just satisfy the audience of tolkien the fans of tolkien and they will be golden they will do exceptionally well that's all they need to do is honor the name of tolkien do well with the show and they will be just fine with that being said hope you guys enjoyed let me know in the comments below what you think about this cast and i will talk to you all very soon in another video talk to you later bye With my heart